What's going on, Eat the World kids? People are always asking Nurtach and I, how can you afford to travel around Japan for like several months at a time? Isn't Japan one of the most expensive countries in the world? And the answer is, yes, it is. But we managed to make do. Just to give you guys a little bit of insight into how things work, here is a video where we share the Airbnb that we're living in currently. So this is in Kyoto, Japan. It's really not that expensive. We're paying the equivalent of about uh, 16 or 17 US dollars a night for this place. We're both really happy with it. So let me show you around. There's the front door right here with a fire extinguisher and like all places in Japan, you take your shoes off at the door and you enter in with slippers or socks. Here's the kitchen. We've got a little kettle. We have dishwasher, soap. Um, and there's even a cutting board, a knife, a couple of plates, a couple of bowls, a couple of silverware. This thing, which is a toaster slash oven slash microwave, because the Japanese have just figured out how to do some really incredible things. There's a hair dryer on top there, and there's this water boiling machine. We've got the refrigerator, freezer. We've got these two rooms here. Here is the toilet. Uh-huh, in all of its glory. And here is a bathroom. We've actually got the shower faucet right there. And there's a little bath over here with shampoo and uh, body wash. And you just stand right in here and you close this door whenever you want to shower. Uh, the temperature is really nice. This one got really hot, which I appreciated. I'm a boy who likes it hot. Now, if we enter through this door here, there's the bedroom. Hi, Nurtach. Hello. Are you so happy today? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Nurtach is sitting on this little couch that we have right here. It comes with four towels. This little machine is pocket Wi-Fi. So instead of setting up Wi-Fi in the apartment, they actually have this pocket Wi-Fi thing. It's charging right now, but what we can actually do is take it around the city with us, which eliminates the need for us to get a SIM card while we're here. Uh, since I'm using an iPad, that's especially helpful. Uh, now, honestly, I wouldn't say this thing is so great, though. Some hours of the day, it works perfectly. Super fast Wi-Fi. Some hours of the day, it can barely load a web page, so it's a little inconsistent. Here's our bed. We've got all of our bags on there right now. Those of you who watched our bag video, this is everything that Nurtach and I are bringing with us. We both have our own bag. We have this travel bag and we have that backpack there. Over here we've got some hangers with the heater which works really well. Honestly, this room feels like an oven sometimes. And we can open this up and there's a little washing machine. Nurtach and I hand wash most of our clothes. Here is this little closet area. As you can see, there's not really a good spot to hang our jackets, so Nurtach and I have kind of improvised and we're hanging them here. And uh, if we open these things up, there's an extra little blanket here, and uh, yeah, pretty much nothing else in here. So, yeah, there it is. That's the place. It's simple, it gets the job done, and uh, it's super cheap. And it's places like this that are allowing us to stay in Japan for a long period of time. One thing that I think is pretty cool is uh, on Airbnb, what I do is I actually send out requests to people. I say, hey, accept my invitation to join Airbnb. This is not an Airbnb advertisement, I promise. But I send those out and when people accept them and stay somewhere, I get a travel credit. So we're actually staying here completely based off of the travel credits that I've acquired so far and Nurtach has some too, so the next place we'll stay, we'll use hers. Yeah, that's the secret. Actually, traveling cheap is, is not, uh, it's not a big mystery. It's just as simple as, like, planning ahead a little bit and using the resources that are available to you. Alright, we got a lot more videos like this coming up with more tips on how to travel, more ways that you can get the most out of your dollar. Uh, we're still going to be traveling around Japan for a long time. We're going to be traveling all over the rest of the world too, so go ahead and hit that subscription button down there. Stay up to date with our latest videos and all of our cool stuff that we're going to post. Alright, bye guys!